Hello, I'm David Avery, Head of the Clean Tech Mandate at Switzerland Global Enterprise. And it's my pleasure to welcome Mr. Holger Hoffman Riem from go for impact to talk about the work they are doing and the relevance that this has for Swiss companies, especially those who are active internationally. Please, can you start by telling us what go for impact is working to achieve and how can your organization support Swiss SMEs in this regard? go for impact is an association that brings together business, science, society and the public sector. Together, the members provide a structure to support companies in improving their environmental performance in Switzerland and abroad. Go for Impact has been created to support businesses of any size, but of course, Swiss businesses are mostly SMEs, so we have a strong focus on SMEs. For example, we offer a list of supply chain tools and we run webinars on sustainable supply chains specifically for SMEs. One initiative to achieve decarbonization is through science-based targets, as expressed in the Science-Based Target Initiative, or SBTI. Let's talk a little more about SBTI and Swiss companies. The SBTI is a partnership of NGOs that enables organizations to set science-based emission reduction targets. The SBTI provides a framework for companies to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions based on scientific evidence. Over the last couple of years, SBTI has grown into the global standard for companies that want to set credible decarbonization targets. Companies that set science-based climate targets make a commitment to reduce not just their own emissions, but emissions across the entire supply chain. So many SMEs are part of wider supply chains. They have suppliers and they're often selling onto OEMs or other integrators of their products and services. What does this mean for them? Well, if a large multinational sets such a supply chain target, this implies that the suppliers will also have to set targets. So SBTI will indirectly affect any Swiss SME that is a supplier of a multinational with science-based targets. SMEs are basically facing a simple choice set themselves credible climate targets or lose their clients. And in most cases, SBTI will be the obvious framework to choose. Since the number of companies with science-based targets doubles almost every year, for most SMEs that are active in export, the question is not if they need to set themselves targets, but when. And the strategic question then becomes, do we want to act proactively before all of our competitors have set their own targets, or do we want to wait until we're forced to act? I'd like to make the link between how companies are developing in Switzerland and what's happening in other countries around the world. How do you estimate that Swiss companies are doing? Well, Switzerland was among the first countries in the world where a significant number of companies set targets. Switzerland is in the global top 10 of countries when you look at the number of targets relative to the population. What we've been observing over the last 12 months is that other countries have grown their number of science-based targets faster than Switzerland. This could reflect the fact that most of the largest Swiss companies have already set targets. For example, 15 out of 20 companies in the Swiss market index. And so far, only a few Swiss SMEs have already set targets. What is needed for Swiss companies not to be left behind, or even to position themselves as leading? I think Swiss companies have to realize that there is no alternative to decarbonization. The new Swiss climate law requires them to reach net zero emissions by 2050, they will have to act anyway. In my view, the key question is, which products and services do we want to offer in a decarbonized economy? It's dangerous for companies not to know the answer to this question. In that case, their competitors will occupy evolving niches first. So I would strongly urge every export-oriented company to think about this question as soon as possible. And once they have the answer, the second question is, how can we reach net zero at the lowest possible cost? Companies that don't know the answer to this second question are likely to make investments that they will later regret. The most cost-effective way to net zero lies in reducing easy-to-abate emissions as quickly as possible. How can Swiss companies committed to SBTI take advantage of their efforts in international markets? Where do you see the business opportunities in this context? Decarbonization will totally change the rules of the global economy. At the moment, the typical question is, how much does a product cost? And companies have a competitive advantage if they can provide the same quality at a lower cost. In a decarbonized economy, there will be a second question that will be equally important. What's the carbon footprint of a product? This will result in a competitive advantage for companies that help their clients to reduce their emissions. For a supplier, the key question will therefore be, how can we help our clients to reduce their emissions? 
Once you know the answer to this question, you should definitely let your clients know. Big thank you to Holger Hoffman from Go for Impact. And let us start today as speed is of the essence. There is more information about business opportunities on the SGE website and further information about SBTI on the Go for Impact website. Thank you.